Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing solving linear equation with two variables. We're going to use the elimination method and the substitution method. So make sure that you watch our uh, videos in substitution method and elimination method. This time we're going to combine the two methods. So if you find this easy, then you can use this process. But if you are confident to use the substitution method, then go ahead. And for elimination method, if you are confident to use that, you can use that. But a lot of students use this, um, the combination of elimination and substitution, because they find it the easiest way to solve the equations. So let's try our example number one. 3x minus 2y is equal to 4 for our first equation, and 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 25 for our second equation. Study the given equations. For our x, there, the coefficients are not equal. For our y, the same. So if we're going to use the elimination and one elimination method and want to cancel x, so we need to cancel x, or we want to cancel x, so we need to multiply this by 5, and this is by 3. So that the coefficient for x will be 15. Okay, let's do that. So 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times negative 2y, negative 10y is equal to 4 times 5, 20. Next, 5 times 5y, uh, 5x, uh, 5x times 3, sorry, 5x times 3, that is 15x. Positive 3y times 3 is positive 9 y is equal to negative 25 times 3 that is negative 75 now study the given or the equations that we produce when multiplying by 5 and 3 so we have now the same coefficient for x so we can now cancel it Now we're going to subtract. So 15x minus 15x will be 0. Or we can just cancel it out. Negative 10y minus 9y, that is negative 19y, is equal to 20 minus negative 75. So that will be 95. Positive 95. Divide by negative 19, so we have y is equal to 95 over negative 19, that is negative 5. Okay, after getting the value for y, let us use the substitution method to find the value for x. So, copy any of our equation. So, it can be equation 1 or equation 2. Now, let us use the equation 1. Equation 1. 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So, 3x minus 2 times our y is negative 5 is equal to 4. So, we have 3x negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10 is equal to 4. So 3x is equal to 4, addition property of equality, minus 10. So 3x is equal to 4 times negative 10, negative 6. Divide both sides by 3, x is equal to negative 2. So our x is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the solution 
of our equations are negative 2 and negative 5. And now let us check our answer. For the checking, let's just go into substitute. 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. And the other one, 5x plus 3y is equal to negative 25. So negative 2 for x, so 3 times negative 2 minus 2 times negative 5 is equal to 4. 3 times negative 2, negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10 is equal to 4. Negative 6 plus 10, that is 4, is equal to 4, which is true. And the other one, 5 times negative 5 plus 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 25. 5 times negative, oh, our x is, our x is negative 2, negative 2, and our y is negative 5. Be careful in substituting the value for the x and y. So 5 times negative 10, uh, 5 times negative 2, negative 10, 3 times negative 5, Negative 15 is equal to negative 25. Negative 10 minus 15, negative 25 is equal to negative 25. Which is also true. Therefore, our answer, negative 2, negative 5, is correct. Now, if your teacher or the question asks you what is the classification of this system, Consistent and independent, we have the number of solution one and the intersecting line. Now, in our next video, what if you're going to find out that the equation or the system of equation is consigning and parallel line? So we haven't encountered that. So that would be our next lesson. What will happen? if that would be the graph so stay tuned for the next video see you in our next examples thank you for watching senior pablo TV.